Up first this evening, Jamaica's Foreign Affairs Minister, Kamina Johnson-Smith, has lost her bid for Commonwealth Secretary General. Member state representatives voted on Friday. Now, our reporter, Janela Precious, has been in Rwanda and now reports. Janela. Thank you so much, Herman. Well, before the announcement, this is how things went down. The day started with the official opening of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. It is customary for the Secretary General to address the gathering. Towards the end of her speech, however, the Baroness gave notice that she was not going anywhere. She's been very strident in her stance that there's no vacancy. I am determined that when the role of Secretary General rotates to Africa two years from now, I will hand on the baton with a stronger, more effective, more powerful Commonwealth than ever before. I have an unshakable belief that we can take our Commonwealth to new heights, to hold our values ever closer and to set an example for the whole world. After the pomp and pageantry of the opening, it was then time for the heads to meet. Hours later, word came that the Baroness survived the challenge and would complete the remainder of her two years in office. Baroness Scotland has been reappointed as Secretary General by a consensus of the leaders of the Commonwealth. We'll give a fuller statement and on the record statement um, later once we have all the details of term length and everything else. Now, this is obviously a blow for the Foreign Affairs Minister, Senator Johnson-Smith, as well as her campaign team. This is what she told senior journalist Arthur Hall. As I said to many people along the way, if I didn't pull through in this undertaking, in this journey, then it was that God wasn't ready for me to leave Jamaica yet. So I want to thank every country and every person who supported me in this race, those I know and those I don't know. And... Uh, of course, sincere congratulations to Baroness Scotland. I wish her well, one love. Now she further extended congratulations to the Baroness on Twitter. Now the Baroness has since replied. She said, quote, thank you for your gracious congratulations and I'm looking forward to working with you closely in the years to come. I am sure you will achieve great things by God's grace. The Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, has also issued a statement. He congratulated the Baroness as well as uh, Minister Kamina Johnson-Smith for running what he deemed as a distinguished and exemplary campaign. He said in the statement that she's, quote, won the respect and admiration of many countries within the Commonwealth and brought prominence to Jamaica. The statement further noted that several members of the cabinet have mixed feelings and are relieved that the senator remains Jamaica's Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade. So in the end, Herman, 27 of the Commonwealth leaders voted for the Baroness and 25 for Mrs. Johnson-Smith. That The Secretariat had initially planned a press conference uh, earlier today, but that press conference has been rescheduled for tomorrow. So, abiento, that is French for see you later. Uh, fun fact. In addition to their native language, Rwandans also speak French. It's back to you in studio.